I really think that good blogging is a real intellectual practice where you're, you're reading widely, you're thinking, you're synthesizing ideas, and then you're sharing your own sense of those ideas and, and saying, here's what I think, what do you think? It's, it's writing that is meant literally to connect, not simply to communicate. I served as a page last year for the Virginia House of Delegates, and I did the vast majority of my work over the internet with my teachers, emailing and, through, and definitely through blogging. And I also blogged about my experience so that people back home could comment and collaborate and just know that what I was doing in Richmond. And I was able to collaborate with my class with the things I would normally do. And it was almost like I was still in the class being able to comment. And I think there's no question that when kids are writing about things that they care about and they're writing for real audiences that that increases the relevance of the work that they're doing. But if we can use these online spaces as ways to provide audiences that share an interest with the students and, and what they're writing about, that's, that's a game changer in a lot of ways. It was really neat to see their ideas coming from Fredericksburg because I would be down there and it was like I was in my own world, but they were right there with me through the internet. Um, and it's just such an instant access rather than the fact that we were 60 miles away from each other. It kind of forces you to think about all those different eyes, all those different people that are out there and how they would react to it, how they would process it and think about it. And, and it forces you to anticipate in many ways what their reactions might be. And just that thought process, I think, deepens the understanding of what it is that you're creating. Um, and, uh, and then, again, gives you the opportunity to get feedback and even even more thinking back about that to deepen it even further.